I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. <laughs> Space! <laughs> thank you for that, Cap. I forgot that we could... Oh, and thank you for the bit, bit donation as well. Or, or, or should I, I, I do uh, an iron mask to go? Thank you for the bitolies. Hello everyone, my name is Josh, aka Time Frame, and I want to welcome you all to a new series on the channel. This is Deliver Us the Moon, a science fiction thriller, uh, kind of a mixed uh, puzzle solving and uh, walking simulator based on what I understand. I am playing this completely blind, I have no idea what to expect here, so uh, I don't really have much in the way of intro. However, if you are coming into this, do note you'll find a link to the playlist in the description down below, that way you can follow along with the entire series. Uh, as the episodes come up on the YouTube channel. Of course, if you are watching live, thank you very much for being here. Know that I appreciate having you folks here to listen in on and watch and interact with me, play with the various random blurbs that show up. All that's really very much appreciated, so thank you for being here. Uh, of course, if you just want to sit back and relax and watch the show as well, you're more than welcome to do so. I appreciate each and every one of my viewers, no matter how they're interacting with us, because, of course, you're here and you're appreciated. There we go. Uh, now, if you do want to join us live, you can do so every Monday and Wednesday from 7.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv forward slash time frame. Now, the reason why we're on this screen as opposed to actually on the game screen like I normally do is because this particular game in the loading screen has some additional lore. So we are actually going to have to launch things. I'm going to turn off the music in the background here so it doesn't surprise us later. And we're going to go ahead and start launching the game once it has begun its launch there we are and what's nice about this one is i can actually i don't have to be focused on the screen for it to load but there we go so we're going to swap over now and those watching live if you can let me know if the sound, if the sound levels are good i would appreciate it usually they do pretty well but it's always a good idea for me to double check just in case there was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades no doubt, to come. Cap. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonists was lost. Give him three Without electric Without the resources to launch a full-scale restoration yeah. to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. And someone left the door open. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us. The moon. So yeah, wanted you guys to see that before we actually started the game because it's not included in the boot up of the game once you hit new game. So I always double check that. I check my settings, make sure things are going to run. I will note it's really kind of cool. This guy here, he'll actually he's actually customizable. 
so, I mean, mildly, but I like the darker version. And of course, got to have the channel colors in there when I have a chance. So purple and yellow. I did a mixture of yellow and green because I couldn't do both at the same time. But hey, I think that works. And yeah, got a, had a little bit of a ability to, cha to, to customize those there. So I thought that was kind of cool. But let's go ahead and actually do a new game. Yes, I do want to start a new game. Yeah, no pressure whatsoever. That's right, Cap. Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees, despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is oh, expected to residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Space Agency's former MPT ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory well, let's evacuation hear the news of here. the impacted areas. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. Mild? This was Nicole Tate for World News 1, September 16, 2059. Wishing you a safe and happy day. Wow, okay, so a brave astronaut ventures to the moon, his mission to explore the lunar expanse and uncover its mysteries. While the road is desolate and the hardships many, he knows that he must preserve persevere to save mankind. Oh. Okay, apparently you're not important enough to Okay. Oh, I am blinded, blinded by the light. Yeah. What is that? What is that in uh, in Fahrenheit cap? That's like a hundred something, isn't it? You've done it a thousand times before during our simulations. We know you can do this. Good luck. Ground launch sequen sequencer. Our little access arm. Auxiliary power units, gas is to vent arm. But 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Jiminy crickets. Okay, I'm gonna need this. I'm not going to read through all this. If you want to pause and read them yourself during the... Uh, well, I guess it wants me to read this one. Is it working yet? <laughs> M MPT Online. MPT transmits power from moon to Earth. The microwave power transmission MPT generates power inside a fusion reactor and sends it wirelessly to rec receivers on Earth, fueled by helium-3 harvested on the moon. While the MPT took over a decade to complete, the energy signal tra traveled rapidly from the lunar colony to Earth. The World Space Agency believes the MPT can transmit enough energy from the colony's fusion reactor to supply approximately 20% of the Earth's population. That percentage is expected to rise quickly. In another decade, the MPT could power all of Earth, said Dr. Isaac Johansson, the agency's lead scientist. Earth will never be in the dark again. Backside, is it working again? Barely, it didn't. Again, just making sure you guys have a chance if you want to in the recording to pause and read yeah, it's been theorized for a long time so Fatina, are you there? Who's asking?
Ground control to Fortuna 1, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Everything else is there, so... Okay. Taurus five. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. I can scan things. Created by Isaac Johansson, the MPT transmitted power from the moon to the Earth through a network of satellite dishes. Since Isaac's disappearance during the nineteen or the twenty fifty four blackout, Sarah Johansson and Sadiator Fathers were closely in preparation for the Fortuna mission. We can get encrypted transmissions. Interesting. Aliens? Yeah, not only that, but xenomorphs, specifically. I can, sp I can sprint, okay. With Johansson. Okay, so that's. Those with kept Johansson family together after her husband Isaac assumed a role in the Lunar Council. After her death, Sarah took care of her sister Kathy before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. Oh, okay. MPT, end to the age of wires. I think I'm, cl or no, I don't know. Uh, we're Fortuna. <laughs> uh, Claire is the one we talk, who, who talked to us, so I don't know who we are. Imagine a world period of fossil fuels and pollution. All of our energy needs satisfied in the blink of an eye. A system that can wirelessly transmit energy all over the world and beyond. This is the MPT, the microwave power transmission. In this book, MPT inventor Isaac Johansson discusses what the future might hold for this revolutionary system. And actually, um, microwave transmission of energy is not a new concept. It has been featured in science fiction for ages. Bodies? Well, at least I flush afterwards, right? But no, Cap, they have not said our character's name yet. Okay, we can't go in there. Sputnik Monument. A monument marks the entrance to the Pezinkov Cosmodrome. This facility was abandoned until Fortuna team made it their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. 
the sign reads to the stars. Hey, you know what? Being regular is important. And then remembering to flush after is also important. I mean, don't be gross. Well, I guess it's a good thing we have our uh, ladder. Let's try that again. Ted, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Okay, thank you. That is. since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. I guess it's better than being trapped in the closet. Hey, Cosmic Moon Wolf, thank you for joining. And, and Mima, no less. Hey, thank you for being here. Uh, we're doing great tonight. We're just uh, a little bit of a change of plans from what the, we originally were going to do. Uh, unfortunately, Raz was not able to make it. She's feeling under the weather. So we are doing something a little bit different tonight. This is the game that is likely going to be taking over for Final Fantasy once we finish that part of the playthrough. Or the playthrough of that game. My trip to space! If power is out, use code 3548 for the door. Good to know. Hi! <laughs> or would that be Josh in space Ah, back in the light. I'm no longer blinded this by the light. Once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Wait, this place is going to be filled with dessert? Space Tech Magazine, Blackout 2054. What happened to the MPT? After the MPT, a year after the blackout. In this edition, we invite world-renowned scientists to discuss what could have caused the MPT to remain offline, what might have happened to the lunar colonies, and how humanity should move forward. Oh yes, I guess I should. By the way, just remind folks that we are still continuing to take donations for the folks over at Extra Life. If you have a couple dollars available, we'll be doing so until the end of this month, December 31st. For those of you watching on the YouTube video, uh, we do have some uh, great incentives that are included above for stuff both for during stream as well as after stream. So if you have a little bit available that you would like to offer or at least can offer, 
any amount is uh, is appreciated and goes directly to the folks over at OHSU Dornbecker. Uh, if you if you donate through my link below, and you can find it in the doobly doo both of the YouTube video as well as here on Twitch. So thank you, if you are able to do so. I appreciate your consideration. Do do. Yeah, I assume that's just a tutorial like con concept there. I was more imagining Tim Curry red alert. One place has not been corrupted by capitalism. What does that mean to zoom in on? Ah. I'm determined to seek truth about the 2054 blackout and restore the MPG connection, Maria Gonzalez has raised the fortune team from the ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. Wait. Somebody's... Okay, you don't use chalk on a... On, on a... A, a, a computer screen, folks. That's not helpful. Maria's broken ASC unit. One of the few survivors of the 2048 Higgins cryosleep malfunction. Maria bought her damaged ASC unit back to Earth with her. She's been trying to repair her ASC in hopes of restoring holographic recordings captured by the device during her time at the Higgins Research Facility. Dear Sarah, we met years ago on the Pearson station, Space Station. I was relieved from service after the Higgins cryosleep malfunction. Remember how we talked about my broken ASC? I'm looking for a way to extract this holographic data, and I'm hoping you can help me out. Hi, Maria. Yeah, I remember holographic data runs through a unique hardware component. I specialize more in software, so you should reach out to my college, Rolf Robertson, here at Pearson. He's an excellent mechanic. Right, those who lost, those lost during the Higgins malfunction of June tenth, twenty forty-eight. Don't forget everyone we've lost that day. I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. <laughs> Space! <laughs> thank you for that, Cap. I forgot that we could... Oh, and thank you for the bit, bit donation as well. Or, or, or should I, I, I do uh, an iron message go, Thank you for the bit, Oliz. Oh, hey. Okay. This is the kind of tutorializing that I appreciate. Make it... Make it, uh... Simple and obvious. I mean, don't spoon feed, but at the same time... Don't assume I'm just gonna figure it out on my own. Give me, give me something. <laughs> Thank you, Kit Kat. Yeah. So I have, even though this is not a horror game, I have activated the ho horror uh, blurb because, well, I know I'm going to be keyed up during the run of this game. So why not make things a little fun for y'all? And all you gotta do is just watch the if if you watch, uh, in over in the if you or watch the stream over in in chat you'll see, uh, down below, it, you'll see the uh, the links, uh, for for channel points or lovely points as they call them, and those can be turned in for, uh, blurps 
that are, or, or in various other unlockables there. Thank you, everyone, for tuning one of the go. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can turn you off. I don't think you want anymore. Beer pong. I win. Interesting. <laughs> you jumped at the jump scare as well. <laughs> three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come, it's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. <laughs> A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could <laughs> never convince him either. That's you okay. Just as the start father. will work well, Cap. <laughs> Probably Our the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's right. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. Right. Secondly, it could be one of the network. Where's Rocket Model? Recruited straight out of University of Claire Johansson. Designed the Taurus 5 rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon after the 2054 blackout. Okay, I can't read that. The court rules that Father Isaac Johansson, as the next of kin, has been granted full custody over Kathy Christina Johansson after the mother Elizabeth Johansson's untimely death. As a current guardian, you are ordained. To ensure that Kathy is brought for brought for a safe passage to the moon, to be reunited with her father. I'm half tempted to use more jump scare noises, less to scare you, more to scare the other people in the chat. <laughs> Indeed, Cap. Indeed. Okay, it, I need these where I can see them, because I'm not going to remember all that. Someone want to screenshot this and, and, and remind me in chat when we get there? Um, let me get out of the way. I can't get out of the way. Nope, I'm on my own. Okay, fine. Hopefully it's intuitive then. Die. No. <laughs> In this instance, me suffering brings you, you more. The I see how it is. is located on the top floor of the facility. The dust storm is approaching. You're in the control center. Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. Both, both hydrogen fuel about. Okay, how do I do that?
Oh, I guess that's what. Just have to go outside and do that. Okay. I'm going down here. Oh, I'm back here. It, where am I supposed to go to close down the hydrogen fuel valve? It's going to tell me? I'm confused. <sighs> Hopefully that's the right thing to do, maybe? Okay, now I see. Didn't see that before. Yeah, the irony of using an elevator raises stairs, yeah. Yes, I know why we needed the stairs now. Go figure. Did you jump in the, you're like me. The, the, the uh, you know the, the, these these games leave you heat up and. The hydrogen valves are closed. Head back inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. I must have ESPN or something. Yeah. Wait, don't go without me. The Timing on that was great, but. Run, running, 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 running. I gotta run, I got a time limit. I gotta run, I gotta time limit! I gotta run, I gotta time limit, and it's got me so scared! Watch takes one minute, five seconds to get. I am going as fast as I can. Rocket navigation systems online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. 
Initiate launch procedure. Okay. That we need. Ground launch sequencer started. Orbital axis arm retracting. Be a little more careful. Perfect, just like we've practiced. A one. A three, B three, B four. Auxiliary power units booting up. Gaseous oxygen vent arm lens arm safely in place. Okay, it's lighting up in color. Okay. Fine. Oops, nope, oops, oops, we're done. Bye. Everything's gone dark. Back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. Oh. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson Space Station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson. <laughs> We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must. One, two, and three. Second and finish of the long. Please, deliver us the moment. Second stage of the long launch sequence. Achievement unlocked. Fly me to the moon. I won't repeat the words that came out of my mouth with that sound. I need to stay on this tab for myself again. <laughs> Deliverance. The moon.
And again, thank you for the bits there, Cap. This one just had to. The timing could not have been better. Yeah, agreed. Absolutely agreed. It's not a microwave. It's a gun. I'm going to have to uh, mark down a little bit of quality here because I am getting some uh, render lag. But we can do that during break. Which, actually, we can do right about... Right about now. So we are actually going to move over to this screen. Because we are going to go ahead and end out the YouTube recording. And there you go. So have at least something in the background there. Uh, so we're going to end up the YouTube recording. And thank you folks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, those of you watching on YouTube. If you do like what I do, please make sure you help me out by clicking the like button on the video, commenting on the video that helps me out the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the notification bell. And that way you'll know when new videos come up on the channel. I do post new videos to the channel every single day, so it's a great way to catch up on previous streams and series that we've done here on Twitch, as well as some of the offline videos that I'm recording just for the YouTube channel. As well, make sure you double check down on the doobly-doo for links to all my social media channels. I do have several there that are available, so you can actually interact with me once the stream is done. But with that all being said, thank you very much again for being here. I do hope that you enjoyed, and until I see you next time, game on, lovelies. <laughs>